Hi everyone, it's Miss Kelty for my weekly update. How exciting was this week? We started off with a torrential downpour and still we had a really smooth first day. I'm so proud of you for helping your child be happy and excited to come to school. And for those of you whose little ones struggled a bit, it's okay and you still got them here, you got them to school, they did great when they got here, it's gonna be a work in progress. For those of you whose kiddos did not have a hard time, don't be surprised if next week it's a little harder because all of a sudden they're gonna realize, wait a minute, I'm going here again and it might be tricky, but they'll get there. We're, we're well on our way. Again, remember to sign up for your child's Google Classroom. If you have lost a password, if you need any help, you can reach out to your child's teacher. You could also reach out to me. I'll do anything I can to help you. That Google Classroom is going to be a window into your child's day. You're gonna have an opportunity to see pictures that happen during the week. Um, some of our newer teachers might just be getting their Google Classrooms up and running, but they'll all be in place shortly, so give them some time. This is always a tricky transition. I wanted to give you a heads up about our um, emergency drills, like every public school here at ECDC, we do fire drills. We are mandated to do four a year that are facilitated by the fire department. We also do lockdown practice. And both of those, and that is facilitated by the um, Franklin Police Department. We make all of them smooth and stress-free. It's about practicing it. It's more about the teachers being able to practice the routine and the students being able to practice, and I know I've shared this already, but stop, look, and listen. We want them to stop what they're doing, look at an adult, and listen to directions. And I think that's something you can also reinforce and practice with your child. Just stop, and when you say stop, look at me, or eyes on me, something like that, and then make them look at you. And once you have their attention, give them that direction. Um, that is how we kind of make sure that it happens, but it's not too stressful. I've attached to the email um, a copy of a letter that tells a little bit more about our emergency drills and there's a little script for how to talk to your child about them. We keep it again very low key. We don't really use the term lockdown with the kiddos. We just tell them that we're going to um, we're going to practice. We're going to do something kind of funny. We go to our safe spot. We read a book. We're very quiet. Again, it's not a scary or traumatic event for anyone. I will say if you have a child who you have seen have a very um, traumatic reaction to an alarm, like a fire alarm, or a child who's experienced um, a fire in their home, so that's traumatic, or experienced police officers and fire off firemen in your home, and that has caused them some trauma, please let your child's teacher know. We don't want this to be uncomfortable, and if we know about a child, we can kind of switch it up and do things a little differently to make sure that child feels safe and somewhat in control. Um, also attached to the email was a registration for our first um, story time with Miss Marcia. She is part of Self Help um, Community and Family Engagement Program, and she serves about 19 towns from Avon up and around, including Franklin. And I work with her on a lot of things. She's fun, children love her. And she's gonna do a story walk on October 4th at 4.30 to 5.30. It will be outside, weather permitting, we'd like to be in one of our um, safe spaces, either the playground or the outdoor classroom. Um, where you can kind of do a story walk. She'll, she'll put the story up in boards. You'll walk through with your child. There'll be some activities to go along the way. It should be a lot of fun, but you do have to pre-register for that. So again, the registration was in the original email. I wanna remind you too that uh, quarterly payments are now due. The September one payment, if you, are, if you have not yet paid, um, reach out to Miss Laura if you need some instruction on how to pay online or um, 
on otherwise how to pay. If you find yourself in a situation of financial hardship, please reach out to us because we're always there to help problem solve and see if there's something we can do. We do offer scholarships based on income. Um, so again, sometimes there are things we can do to work with you because after all, we really want your kiddos to be here. Um, also lunches and snacks, if those present a hardship for you to provide for your child, you can confidentially just reach out to Nurse Suzanne or to myself or to your child's classroom teacher and we can help with that as well. Just a couple reminders about arrival. Thank you all for being patient. That's the most important thing as we really get our groove on. Please try to stay in your car until you see the sign for your child's teacher. If you're supposed to come at 9.15, don't get out of your car before 9.15. That way your child won't be running around unsupervised and um, it won't be so chaotic on the sidewalk. So people who are, we're trying to line people up about nine, between 9.05 and 9.10, but doors won't open till 9.10 for the first group. And then right at 9.10, be ready to have the second group lining up to go in for 9.15. So I guess the second group you can get out around 9.10. Um, but that way, again, we're trying to make it as smooth as possible. We realize it's not perfect. Um, if you have any ideas or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to me. We've looked at it from all different angles. I will say I'm very excited that um, Officer Amanda, our SRO, and um, Sergeant Danny Smith have been working to get crosswalks out there. I've been trying for a long time and I finally think they're gonna put something in place. Um, I'm also working with the town to get sidewalks on that road, um, but that is gonna be a longer term issue. Um, thank you to those of you who came and got, got some tomatoes out of the garden. I hope you enjoyed them. I know one family collected a bunch and gave some back to the senior center, which is awesome. Um, the, there's, there's still some there, but they're green as of right now. But again, thank you so much because there's nothing worse than seeing your tomatoes go to waste. I think that's it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Make the most of it while the good weather's here and we will see you on Monday. Bye.